Hi guys, welcome back. Eric UK here with my uh, gaming blog for November, December. Um, this was supposed to be two separate vids, obviously, but uh, November was a little bit of a busy month for me, so I'm just going to combine them now as a sort of end of the year thing. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Um, I'll get over the basics. The Warhammer front has basically been uh, closed down for the Christmas period. Um, it's been very quiet the last few weeks. Um, in fact, we had an almost dead week. <laughs> um, if it hadn't been for the fact that I couldn't make that night, so I paid up from the club kitty for everyone, we wouldn't have actually made the money. Uh, we didn't have enough people turn up. Uh, but that always happens this sort of time of year anyway, so you know, I don't grumble. Um, we're going to come back in February. Well, we start, we start back in the beginning of January. Um, but we're going to start a new 40k league in February. It was supposed to be a Warhammer Fantasy League, uh, but the chap running that has got some concerns, family homes, you know, um, family wise rather. So that's going to be pushed back to the summer. Uh, you know, priorities first and all that. Uh, so the 40k one will start at the beginning of the year. Um, because we've only got so many players that still play, unfortunately, and we're having, you know, it's almost impossible, it seems, to get new blood into the game into the club um, there's only going to be about seven or eight of us playing but that's cool you know um, what's happening otherwise uh, the Sunday club quite frankly I've, I've had enough now it's it's still far too magic heavy I've sold off all I had when the new set came out because it was sort of like a Grecian theme mythic Greece I did buy into it because I thought hey you know something I'm interested in it might actually perk up my interest when in fact it did quite the opposite uh, so I've sold all that off and I pretty much decided no forget it um, you know, I say this all the time but this time you know it, it's in there I mean it I'm not gonna bother um, but that's also what my attitude is towards the Sunday club now to be honest because it's basically magic players and then if there's space uh, someone might have a board game with them but no one wants to play anybody else's stuff uh, um, which is what annoys me I've got games that I want to play but you try and convince anyone else to play them and it's like you know, forget it so you know why do I bother so um, I'm very much thinking of dropping out of the Sunday afternoons um, and just leaving that to the magic players you know um, on the role play stuff which is a lot more interesting <coughs> I saw the negativity out of the way um my War of the Burning Sky campaign is going on quite nicely. Um, I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm enjoying it. I'm still not entirely sold on it, but the players seem to be having a good time with it, so that's what's important. Um, and I'm starting to write my own adventure path for Pathfinder. Um, I've got all the basic notes and what have you down. I'm starting on the maps. Um, a little tale is currently going by the working title of the Hexham Hag Legacy. Uh, which hopefully I shall have ready to run some point towards the end of next year. Um, the Rise of the Rune Lords game has been, for the moment, I think, killed uh, because the GM in question has been full work going here, there, and everywhere around the globe. Um, but what we're thinking is because the Legacy of Fire campaign, which is on the alternate Sunday to my game, uh, will wrap up a lot quicker than my game will he's going to take that over and restart it's only myself and one other player who has been doing Rise of the Rune Lords on the Sunday game uh, and we can you know, fudge our way through it <laughs> and not give anything away uh, in the, and do it that way which I think is probably the, for the best um, we might even have a better group of players with which to play it then um, What else is happening? The Death Watch game is on hold uh, over the Christmas period. Um, in a way, I'm kind of grateful because it. I, I can't remember if I mentioned this before. I'm sure I did. The GM in question is very much a sandboxy type and he likes his random roles. And pretty much all we did on the last session that we played was basically we are on this death world. It's a big jungle planet inhabited by giant alien dinosaur looking things, carnivorous plants strange weather and what have you and pretty much what he's doing is in our trying to get to the one starport on the city where we've got to basically break in um, 
and it's about I don't know so many hundreds of miles um, he's basically doing random rolls like three or four times per game day to see what happens and so we're just not getting anywhere um, uh, you know it's it counts with dinosaurs it's you know uh, a river in our path it's this and the other it's like adding days or you know and uh, crossing off fuel and, all this. and it's become quite a chore to be honest um, which is a shame because uh, when he gets the game going well it's quite good but at the moment he is just it's it is pretty much railroaded you will do this you will do that and I will make loads of random rolls but quite frankly I'd rather we just did you know three or four set encounters and then we got to our destination but he's not that sort of gym so that's probably on hold at the moment um, I've also been roped into running a vampire masquerade game on alternate Mondays um, and I'm running the Chicago stuff currently the first edition uh, cabins and, you know, we only have a limited number of weeks it's until uh, another group's uh, game kicks off again uh, beginning of the summer um, and so if we get there I'm going to move it into like the second edition Chicago and then see where we go uh, but that really has uh, brought back a lot of good memories I, and just proved to me that I so prefer Masquerade as both a setting and a rule set uh, that I'm actually going to sell off all my Requiem stuff and buy back all the ma Masquerade stuff that I want so if anyone's interested in any uh, Requiem uh, and New World of Darkness books let me know and we can come to an arrangement um, and that's pretty much where we're up to on the gaming front um, <coughs> oh and then there's a load of Pathfinder stuff um, which I might actually do off in another vid to be honest um, because there's a bit of a rant on that one <laughs> to be fair um, yeah that might not be a bad topic for another vid um, but that's pretty much what I've done the last two months it's been very quiet I guess um, but uh, there's been some good games, there's been some bad games. That's the PFS stuff I'm talking about. Uh, PFS is Pathfinder Society, if you don't know it. It's the, um, if you remember, uh, what was it called, Living Greyhawk? I think it was not TSR did back in the day when you had um, like a global society, I suppose Pathfinder Society, where you could play, or it's organised play, that's the term I'm thinking of. Um, and that's pretty much what that is but for Pathfinder and while I've been playing it and having uh, a bit of a, a good time with it I've also had two or three real I'm pissed off now moments with it I've, I don't really think it's my cup of tea but because we've got some of the guys here playing it I've been kind of roped into it um, yeah I might do a vid for that tomorrow uh, anyway thank you for watching um, you know as I said if anyone is interested in some Requiem stuff let me know and we'll sort something out Otherwise, uh, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, and let's hope that 2014 is a better year for all of us. Take care, and good gaming.